Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to showcase a little setup I have created in JavaFX, which allow us to create movable lines where we have a very simple setup of a line and two circles. We can then use these circles to drag and drop around the position of our line. And because these are created inside like an object in Java, we can then create multiple of them. And I'm then keeping track of the order and we can then remove them as well. So relatively simple setup, and I'm just gonna go through how it works, and then I will leave a link in the description to a gist where you can have a look at all the code yourself, if you like. But we have a simple JavaFix application, and most interesting, we have a line controller, which is connected to our FXML. Our FXML in this case is very simple. We have a simple anchor pane, with an ID of anchor pane and two buttons, one button for creating the new lines, one button for removing the new lines with some symbol on action setup connected to a method in our controller. Our controller then symbol have our connection to our anchor pane. We have a list of lines to keep track of all the lines we're adding to our system. This might not be necessary, but I like doing, like doing it this way where our add line method very simply just create a new movable line object and tells it, gives it a parameter to the constructor that we want to add it to our anchor pane and we'll then add this line to our list lines. And because our movable line is actually adding the elements, all the elements to the anchor pane list of elements, so it's like this parent have a list of all its child elements, we could in theory, access that, and keep track of the order that way, but I like having a separate list, because that makes it a bit easier later on when you want to remove the first element. We can then simply call lines.get0, and because they're going to be moving down when we move an element, this works fine. So we get the first element in our list, which is the newest element. We then remove this element from the list, and we remove this, or, and we then call our current line that remove line which then have a built-in method that simply just removes the line and the two dots, the two circles from its parent. We can then simply add and remove. So relatively simple setup. And how we then actually create our line is that we have this movable line Java object, Java class. We then have our three elements, a line and two circles. So our line and starting point and end point. Within our constructor, simply get a connection to our parent. So where do we want to add our element? We then call a create draggable line method, which in short, creates the line, create the starting point and endpoint, ensures that our starting point and endpoint are draggable points. We then want also a handle point mouse dragged so that when any of the points are moved, the point itself is also responsible for moving the line. And then depending if it's a starting or end point, it then either moves like just one of the ends. As you can see here, we're not moving both the ends of the line. We just this point on the line is kept locked and the other end is then moved. So it's important we need to understand which of the points are moving. Is it the starting point or the end point? And that is mostly the setup. So quickly to recap, we have a line, starting point, end point. We create the line, we create the end point and starting point. For each of the point, we ensure that they are draggable and that they move the line according to rather than starting or an end point. And of course, we then also have remove line, which is very simple to take in a connection to the parent once again. And because we're inside our object here, or inside our class, our object in run at runtime is gonna have a connection to our line and our starting point. So we can just very simply call our root, get children. So we'll get the entire list of all the elements in our anchor pane in this case, and just remove the line, the starting point and end point for this movable line. And then because we're creating a new movable line for each line, each movable line object is gonna be able to handle and know the connection to each line and two points, no matter their position in the anchor. Pane. And that's very much what I want to showcase today of a movable line in JavaFX. And again, there'll be a link in the description to a guest. We can have a look at the code yourself. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe and wish you all a wonderful day.